Yo, what up guys? Sorry, I'm kind of concentrating right now. Right now I'm literally flying in between these trees at Sutro Baths. And I've shot here many times before actually, but I really wanted to come back when I finally had some good colors and there's some good weather. Because both times I've been here, it's always been super cloudy. So I really just want to take advantage of a nice sunset right now and just get some super sick shots between the trees right now. And of course, as you guys can tell, I've been super obsessed with the Mavic 3 lately. I've been taking a break from FPV and I just really love the image quality on this drone. I mean, it's just so beautiful. I think it's way better than the GoPro. So I think that's part of the reason why I just love flying this thing so much because I can just get instantly amazing shots with it consistently without really needing to worry about the hassle of bringing all the FPV accessories or also the sound too. So yeah, I'm just really happy with this drone, honestly, so. And you always want to make sure that you recover your highlights. So just then I switched it from 800 to 400. 800 was really useful because it helped me see inside the trees better. But now that I'm out here by the sunset, you definitely want to preserve your highlights. I think that's a good practice. And yeah, do the lowest ISO you can. So that's why I like D-Log because there's three different ISOs now. Before they only had 400 and 800, but now they actually added 1600 for low light. So later we're going to test that out at dusk and stuff. But yeah, right now, we're at 400 ISO and I'm using ND16. Right now I'm just flying around the beach area. There's a cool like waterfront restaurant right here. So I'm gonna do some cool shots of that too, but I'm just doing a nice slow orbit right now. All right guys, so right now I'm attempting a line of sight shot. I'm doing a nice pullback starting at the beach and then I'm gonna pull back through these trees. And honestly, I think that's why line of sight flying is so effective because I could fly backwards. That's something you can't really do on an FPV. So right now I'm just maintaining my visual line of sight on the drone. I see those little flashing lights. I'm just doing a nice super slow pullback right now. I'm in cinema mode, so I can be super gentle on the sticks. And I think that's why the Mavic is so powerful because it literally just specializes in these types of sick shots. Nice, slow, cinematic, really precise, good composition. And I think that's a really valuable tool for filmmaking, so. And now I'm gonna go probably to, I might actually try 1600 ISO. I'm just do the same thing, but find some new routes this time. I like the Mavic because it's like flying like slow motion FPV. I'm just gently going through the trees right now. Whee. Alright guys, so right now for this next flight, I'm really going to focus on getting some really cool silhouette shots of the sunset. I'm really trying to capture those colors. And then also I'm trying to get some shots of that rock over there. In addition, since I have a really nice line of sight as usual, I'm going to be trying to fly the drone as low as I can above the waves. I think that's going to look super sick. So I took off the ND filter. We're going to be shooting out 4K. And yeah, already it looks pretty good. So yeah, this drone does amazingly well at dusk. So let's try it out. But yeah, in addition, it's also really important to find good spots to take off from. Before I was flying from the car and I was all the way back there and I wasn't really comfortable getting low shots around here because my connection was pretty low, but I think this is a great spot to launch my drone from because my drone is flying under me. I have super good connection. Right now I'm just doing more half orbits around the rock here, doing the other side. It looks super sick, kind of black here. Oh my God, it's dope. I think it always looks really sick when you expose for the sunset and then just kind of let 
all the other objects in the foreground just kind of go to black. So it's really cool because you can just see the nice shape of the rock here. And that's why I think the Mavic 3 is really powerful for. You can just really practice your composition techniques, really practicing your rule of thirds and just framing these really nice shots. That's something you can't really do as much on FPV because FPV, you're always in motion, you're always going super fast. With the Mavic 3, you can really just take it slow, take a deep breath, and just really focus and, and compose your shots really well. So I think that's a huge benefit for the Mavic 3. But yeah, like I said, guys, it's always really good to have objects in your frame as close as you can. So that's why I'm always flying to this rock. I'm always trying to get something in my frame moving because that's how you're going to get the most dynamic shots. When you're too high and too far away, it's not going to look as good. So it's really important to yeah, yeah, fly close to these objects and try to do some cool compositions. So because by having these big objects in my frame, such as the rock, the waves, I'm able to really take advantage of my rule of third and I could really just compose these cool shots here. So right now I flew a little bit farther back from the rock and this looks super cool because I'm getting some really nice reflections from the waves. This rock is kind of like the centerpiece. It's like kind of like the main character per se of the shot. Because even though it's a drone shot and you're not filming actual characters, you kind of want to think of the kind of like your environment as the character itself. So that's why I'm really focusing on this rock right now and trying to build this story around this big rock over there where all the birds are. So I think that's another way to think of it. But yeah, you always basically want to try to aim to shoot into the sun. You always want everything to be backlit because that's how you can get the best lighting. All right, guys, so I think that was a super successful flight. I'm really happy I chose this spot to launch my drone from because as usual, I had a really good line of sight to my drone. I could even see it all the way out there, those little green lights flashing. So that's also really important when you're flying drones is to find a good spot because before I was flying over there back by my car and although I got some cool wide establishing shots of this area, I wasn't confident going low and going around these rocks over here because I was just way too far. My connection was way too low. So it's really important to when you can go as close to the location as you can because then you can get more cool shots because you're more confident, you could see it. And yeah, you just get more creative too when you're calm. So yeah, I think it's really important. And yeah, I'm really happy with how the shots turned out. I'm really impressed with how the 1600 ISO does in D-Log. So later we're gonna go back and grade it, but I think it looks really good on the camera monitor already. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys on the next one.